Yemen, I suspect, is the first of a new generation of conflicts, uh, not in the level of its violence, we've seen that before, of civilian casualties, dramatic though they are, but in the relationship between the complexity of the conflict and the attention traditional Western audiences are willing to give it. It never ceases to amaze me that, you know, the, the, the Gulf is such a strategic area. This is an area where you've, you know, got critical global waterways, uh, but also critical global energy supplies. And the almost casualness with which this terrible war has been allowed to flare for the last four to five years now is extraordinary. We've seen 70,000 casualties, 10 million people now uh, hungry in some way or another, almost 4 million displaced. The statistics are astonishing in their own right, but then when you see where it's happening on the edge of one of the most strategic waterways in the world, one, one is left bewildered that there isn't more high-level urgency and attention to solving it. This is the first of a kind of new set of hidden, rather proxy conflicts, which reflect the kind of breakdown in many ways of the international rule-based system. I think International Crisis Group has an extraordinary possibility, really, to, to put a microscope to this conflict, to examine it in a way that you know, brings out the roots of it, both the internal root in, inside Yemen, but also the international alliances which are driving uh, this, this conflict. We've recognized that the key to put, bringing pressure to bear in this conflict is not policymakers in capitals, it's mobilizing a concerned civil society and public opinion and think tank and journalistic community whose concern will in turn put pressure on currently very passive policymakers.